Look how beautiful is that alley. It's called Ajami neighborhood. <laughs> Difficult to walk here. Difficult to walk on the road itself. Such a great place. We're going to see another church. Yes. This is the Dolphin Street. Dolphin 9. We are entering to a Malkitic church. Malkitic for for some of you will be strange. For people who are following my videos, it might be more. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, Malkitic were Greek Orthodox who, in the 19th century, converted to Christ to Catholic. Then it's a Greek Catholic church. If you are taking my videos so again, if you are taking my tours, private tours with me, I'm usually going through the Greek Catholic Patria, but we're now at Jaffa. So did nothing here is in English. All right, no shoes, no umbrellas. And I saw Hassan, uh, Abu Hassan, I'm starving now. Malkiti. Mediocre. Mediocre. Greek Catholic. Greek Catholic. Yeah, true. Cleaner shoes, not to go with other shoes. Then you will see a kind of a Greek Catholic church. which is very simple. You can see the wall of icons, which is a Catholic, a Greek Orthodox option. But it's, this is quite a modern church. It looks like a, a more like Catholic than Greek Orthodox. The church is very simple. It actually reminds us of uh, the Arabs in Israel. Um, and it's not good or bad. It's, it's, it, this is their style of the houses. You can see the around windows. Uh, the upper part of the windows are very local. Um, the church is from 1927. And the beginning of the uh, story of the Greek Catholic is, uh, let's say, a few hundred years ago when the Arabs here said, ah, we want to be the priest. We don't want a Greek Orthodox priest. And when the Greek Orthodox told them not, you want to have it, and they decided to leave them. And now it's in, kind of an independent um, church, uh, but a, there's not a lot of differences between Greek, Catholic, Greek Orthodox or Greek Catholic, although they actually uh, it's a kind of a, a Catholic order today. For example, you can see the wall of icon, which is totally Greek Orthodox, but that part is totally Catholic. The Annunciation of uh, Mary with the statue of Mary which is in front of you. Uh, the priest here, uh, if they are married, they can... can oh, so, sorry. sorry, sorry. Sorry, they hear me. I thought that I'm very quiet. Let me go outside.
אהלן סהלן. I actually disturbed them, that's not something they don't want. Um, the priest here is, was married before he became priest. This is uh, an option for the Greek Catholic. And um, they have here, uh, it's not a small community, that's why uh, it's open here only on uh, Saturday and uh, Sunday. Um, But most of the Christians, or a lot of the Christians in Israel, especially at the Galilee area, are from that church. Um, behind it, it's a little bit rainy now, but I can show you that at Christmas time you can actually have um, a Christmas market here. Look how beautiful it is. There's another important uh, priest that made a lot of miracles is from Jordan, uh, from uh, Lebanon. And the uh, people here believe that if they want to, to create miracles or to be part of it, they first must believe in it. And then they have to do one step. And that step is to go to Lebanon, to the tomb of him. Then let me show you the priest. Here he is. That's why so many things here are in Arabic. That not in English, not in Greek. Even here, you can see the cross of Jesus and the Latin language of the Bible and the Latin listen this to this. Not the Greek Orthodox. When the priest uh, praying, Shukran. Okay. Yeah, okay. he's praying there, but facing to the people, not uh, Mar Sharbel is the name of the priest from Lebanon that everyone believes that he creates a lot of miracles. Sharbet. He lives from 1820. Uh, to a few years later, but it created a lot of miracles. It's a very important symbol for the Greek Orthodox or Greek Catholic.